Hello everybody, I'm Mike Levin of Levinix and today I'm going to teach you how to program. If you haven't already done so, download Levinix, double click it to unarchive, go into the folder, double click the start script that corresponds to your operating system, be it Mac, Windows, or Linux. Wait for the server to build. By now you should be quite familiar with seeing a server build. It's just running a bunch of install and configuration scripts. There is nothing special about a server. It's your code that's the special thing. And you choose option 4 to build it into a Python, Vim, and Git development platform. But that takes too long for a quick demo, so I had already done that ahead of time over here on the Windows virtual machine and it's up to Vim. That'll be done in just a moment. And I'll continue the demo on Windows for all you Windows users so you don't feel left out. I'm going to run PuTTY and as you may be familiar with you can connect into your server even when stuff is going on. So I run PuTTY, I put localhost in the host name Make it port 2222, hit enter, log in as username tc, password is foo, and there we are logged in. So just in preparation and to kill some time, I'm actually going to do that a second time. Run localhost. 2222 TC foo and now we have two terminal sessions just in time you can see uh, get python changed to learn python which is how you can visually know that you've built this into a uh, python server and just extremely quickly I'm going to just show you you can type the word python and go into interactive mode where you can give a command like print hello world and you see hello world so I've already done hello world but now I'm going to show you how to do that with a text file which is what you really want to do in order to learn how to program so I do an ls to see where we are there's now a pydocs directory we're going to cd into that, ls. There's a few things there, but we are going to ignore those for now. That is for the next tutorial. Today, just like we did vi hello.txt on the last tutor tutorial, we're going to do vim. In fact, I'm going to do it as super user just to be sure. sudo vim hello. And instead of .txt, we do .py. Now we're in Vim. You hit I for insert, type print, space, double quote, hello, world, notice we're getting color coding, escape key, colon, W for write, enter. Now instead of quitting out, I'm just going to switch down to this other console that we have opened here, ls, oh, we're not in PyDocs yet, so I'll cd into PyDocs, ls, Oh, there's our hello.py. Python, hello.py. Hello world! Congratulations, you're a programmer. The rest is really details. But there are a few details that are important, so I'm going to show you one of them before we stop. Hello world is ridiculously simple in Python, but I'm going to uh, sh show you a function. So I'm going to hit I for insert, hit enter, up arrow, the word DEF, which tells Python we're about to make a function, space, I'll call the function hello, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, colon, arrow key down, go to the beginning, and I'm going to put two spaces. We now have a function called hello which will do the same thing as the one-line program. Escape, colon, W to write it. But I will show you 
it's not actually going to do anything yet because there is no instructions to run the contents of the function. So I hit O for a new line, hit enter again, backspace, and now I just put on a single line the function hello. Escape colon W for write. Now it's telling it to run hello as the last line of the program. So it's essentially going to spin through, learn about the function, and then say, oh, call that function. It's a new form of hello world. It teaches you a lot more about Python programming than just the one line version. And that's all for today. On the next tutorial, I plan on showing you how to use Git, the one piece of this developer stack that we haven't looked at yet to keep your code safe for life. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed today's Python Hello World tutorial. I'll see you next time.